Hi, I'm Don McKellar, back in the Winter Garden Elgin, where we first did, well, not first, but we did the show here many years ago, and it's pretty exciting to be back downstairs this time in the Elgin with the drowsy chaperone um, in my hometown. Since the Winter Garden, uh, well, there have been a lot of changes. Well, f the first thing you'll probably notice is there are sets. Uh, there weren't basically any sets in, in the Winter Garden show. We couldn't really afford them, uh, for one thing. Uh, it's not really the fault of the designer. Uh, we had thought of sets, the idea occurred to us, but uh, we, we really couldn't do it. Also, there's dancing. There was never really any dancing in the Toronto productions. Uh, we always knew that to be authentic we'd have to have dancing, but uh, we neither had the ability or uh, the inclination <laughs> to, to dance. Uh, well, we didn't know anyone who really knew how to tap dance. We didn't know how to pick it up. It would have been a huge thing. So. Um, Obviously, the director now, Casey Nicola, um, is also a choreographer, and that was one of the things that first excited us when when we we learned when we met him and we and we were asked about working with him was the idea of a director choreographer. We knew that that was the big thing that we needed for the show, and it is. It's huge. It makes a huge difference. We always uh, were into musicals and weird, archaic musicals. Pro I think probably partially, mostly because of Lisa, Lisa Lambert, the lyricist. She sort of was the one that was first interested in musicals, and she got us all into it in a way. The more obscure, the better. Uh, and we did little musicals. We did a we, me and Lisa and Bob and some others had a children's theater company that we did little, what I guess were musicals, and toured them around uh, the province for children. Um, but, but I certainly never thought I would have a career in musical comedy. So yeah, it's certainly changed my life, you know, in an improbable way. And I, I, I still don't know what I'm going to do in terms of career with this. I now I get approached about movies, musicals, and uh, movie musicals, and um, I get I get weird phone calls now. But uh, it certainly made my life more surprising and entertaining. <laughs> I want everyone who was at that original stag party to get out here and see the show, and I want anyone who's ever been to a stag party to come out. There are no strippers, though. Just high-class entertainment. Be prepared.